I remember it like it was just yesterday. The day I finally got myself a Game Boy. I was excited, to say the least, eager to play my new games once I had gotten home. I had purchased my Game Boy from a reputable store nearby, along with two games, Pokemon Crystal and Pokemon Special Pikachu Edition. I played some of Yellow first, before deciding to try Crystal. But to my dismay, it seemed that the internal battery was dead. I would have to leave that one alone until I could get a replacement battery. I went back to playing yellow version and eventually beat the game. The gameplay was normal throughout and nothing superbly abnormal happened when I found a few missing no. Minus my Hall of Fame and my trainer information glitching a bit. Or so I thought. The problem arose in Glitch City. After spending a while online looking at Pokemon glitches, I found a video that walked you through how to get to Glitch City. I made my way to the nearest Pokemon Center, withdrew my Abra from the PC, and I began the ritual. Into the Safari Zone. Say no twice. Save. Exit the zone. Walk 500 steps along any route. I walked for a bit and then received the notice that my time had run out before being transported back to the safari zone and cautiously walking out the door. When the screen lightened back up from the going through the door animation, I found myself in a patch of grass surrounded by glitchy terrain in every which way. To my surprise, this glitch city that I had come into was fairly large. Among the mangled terrain, I could make out bits of signs and doors. I had read that they didn't work in glitch city, but I tried them anyway while exploring the area. I came across a trainer, a strange one. The sprite was not all there. It was partially whited out. It didn't approach me, but as I walked by, it seemed to follow me with its pitch black eyes until it disappeared off the screen again. I sighed with relief before noting something else peculiar. My Pikachu, he had run off in front of me and seemed to be running to and fro frantically. I walked over to him and I pressed A. His picture came up on screen as usual when you would interact with him. Only his eyes seemed bigger than normal and his mouth was turned down in a frown. The screen shook back and forth as though he wasn't happy. I frowned to myself as he ran off again before noticing the figure in the bottom of the screen. That half whited out trainer. It was standing there, staring in my direction. I followed in the direction of my Pikachu and I eventually caught up to him before pressing A again. The same animation played. A frowning Pikachu and a shaking screen. Only this time, Pikachu's cry played along with it. The cry was quiet, barely audible, but it sounded scared, somehow ominous. When I 
turned my trainer sprite around. That ghostly trainer was standing there again. Just staring. I realised I had trapped myself in a corner between my Pikachu and that strange trainer. I was about to use my Abra for a teleport when curiosity got the better of me and I pressed A to talk to this strange figure. I would always regret this. A bunch of garbled, unlegible text appeared before giving me what seemed like a yes or no option. I scoured the apparent question, attempting to decipher it, but ultimately failing. It seemed like I had to take a gamble. I couldn't even read the yes or no options, and I had never paid attention to which one was in which spot. Without looking, I selected an answer. Another bit of garbled text popped up, and the figure simply walked away. Interest peaked. I followed it to where it had been standing originally. It looked at me, and then walked to my Pikachu. When the sprite walked away, Pikachu followed a few steps behind. Curious and a little nervous, I spoke to the figure again. This time, the text was readable, even if barely. You can't have it back. It's mine now. I clicked again, before being brought into battle against the trainer and my Pikachu. The trainer's sprite was a female, only halfway there before fading into white. She sent out Pikachu. I sent out the only Pokemon I had brought with me, Abra. Battle music played normally as my Abra appeared on screen. Immediately, I tried to use teleport. You can't flee from a trainer battle. I cursed lightly before a thunder shock hit my Abra. When my turn came around again, I again attempted to use Abra's teleport. You can't escape. Another thunder shock. Abra's health had fallen into the red, and I tried once more to use teleport. You can't escape. I watched as Pikachu's thunderbolt hit Abra for the last time. Abra's cry played, and the screen darkened before plopping me back in front of the Pokemon Center. No Pikachu in sight. I, of course, went back to the Glitch City. But each time I went in, it was completely empty. Until the final time I went there. I had ended up in a place that looked all too familiar. The exact build of the Glitch City where I had lost my Pikachu to some sort of wacky programming or a sick joke done by the previous owner of this old and battered cartridge. I walked around with my Abra at the ready in front of my party. Anita ran second and I had a Pidgey in third place. I walked for what seemed like hours before I noticed it standing in a patch of glitched grass was a Pikachu. Half of its sprite was faded to white and its visible eyes dull. I walked over to Pikachu and I pressed A. 
and the screen showed the sprite, close up of Pikachu's face, half existent and dull eyed, strange pixels near its eye that could be explained as glitchiness. But to me, they looked more like tears. A garbled Pikachu's cry played out before the Pokemon ran over to its new trainer. And just as it had done the first time, the figure watched my every move. It followed my every step. It annoyed me. It made me so mad. It had stolen my Pokemon. I bit back the rage and approached the sprite cautiously before pressing A. A garbled message appeared and I was brought into battle yet again. I sent out my Abra and my Pikachu stared at me once again from the opposite side of the battlefield. I switched my Abra with my Nidoran and I used Horn Attack, cutting Pikachu's health. The green bar moved lower and I felt sick as I picked Horn Drill once again. Over and over, I watched the slivers of health fall away until the bar was in the red. An urgent siren beeping in the background signified a warning of the low health that both Pokemon had. My Nidoran had been knocked out and it was up to my Pidgey now. With one last click of a button, Pikachu was hit with gust, draining the last of his health. But instead of ending the battle, the sprite merely disappeared. A message popped up. Pikachu faded away. I pressed A and I was returned to the overworld. No Pikachu in sight. Very upset at the loss of my Pikachu, I restarted my game. But instead of landing in Pallet Town, I found myself in the Pokemon Tower, standing in front of a tombstone. No matter how many times I restart, Red just stands there, immobile, standing over Pikachu's grave. But sometimes, when I press A, I can hear a low Pikachu's cry, and very rarely, a message box will pop up as Red speaks seemingly to himself. I killed him. I killed Pikachu.